Welcome to the Coach's Corner. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Dave Trumbo, head coach of the women's volleyball team. And coach, last week, uh, didn't play over the weekend, but you guys go out to Widener and get that all-important conference win to keep it rolling. Win streak's up to seven now. Yeah, Widener is always a tough team on the road. Um, always have a lot of concern. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, uh, Kristen Brooks's family's from there, so she they had like 20 right. people in the stand, so it almost made it made it uh, pretty equal as far as uh-huh. the noise went. But and Kristen had a had a good uh, nine kill match, but uh, Widener can be tough. They had us 20 to 15 in the third, mm-hmm. and uh, fortunately, we we're able to get that win and get out of there with a three nothing uh, victory. And a lot of good performances across the board. You had. Mm-hmm four girls with eight or more kills yeah that's and that's what you really want to see mm-hmm. they just they can't stop any one particular player right. you know our right sides have been really playing well the last last nine or ten matches uh, Mariah Savage had the big weekend last week in which she had 15 kills in each mm-hmm. set so she continued she had eight Lauren Weaver had eight and then Annika Swartz with 12 and Kristen with nine you yeah. know and then and Chelsea and then Victoria hit 500 in the middle and Chelsea had four blocks and our setters were almost dead even in assists so yeah. we're very balanced is which is exactly what you want to see uh, uh, at this time of the year that so many kids are contributing to our success and this time of year and this week is going to be awfully important you have Albright coming in on Tuesday you go to Catholic on Thursday and then that quad match uh, with four quality teams including yourself on Saturday right well all you know Albright is coming down here um, they just beat Lycoming three nothing. So it's mm-hmm. like the conference is getting better. Mm-hmm. Uh, but um, so we got Albright Tuesday and um, you know, Catholic. Home, we're going down to Catholic. They're nineteen and five. Get teams like that on their home court. That's going to be a really difficult match. Stockton was is getting votes for the top twenty five. Um, so they, you know, they're really strong. Went to Sweet 16 last mm-hmm. year, so that's going to be a great for match for us on Saturday. Really test us. Uh, so we've got some good competition coming up. We're looking forward to it. And keeping that, uh, expecting the hopefully for the win streak to continue. What are going to be uh, the keys to success in these four games that you have this week? Is it going to be continuing that equal play and stellar play of everybody contributing, getting a lot of kills? Or well, it, you know, it's. It, First off, it's you know it's a it's a passing and serving game. Mm-hmm. You know if if we don't pass, then Sarah and Julie can't set, and then our hitters can't hit. Mm-hmm. And the last couple of matches, um, and you might as well come right out and say, I mean, we only have three receivers mm-hmm. in serve receive: Deanna Bradbury, Annika Swartz, and Kristen Brooks. And they the three of them have been passing very very well, uh, which really makes our kill percentage go up and everything looks very smooth when we get out of system and um, we got to force things and um, put hitters in difficult positions that's when they make errors but our passing's been great our serving especially good against um, Eastern uh, so we you, you got to serve tough pass well and everything else will take care of itself and I think uh, the play up along the net has been really important for you guys mm-hmm. as well Chelsea's been blocking like crazy and Lauren and uh, Victoria also have been, you know, lending a hand in the block of, along the net. Yeah, that kind of started with that Eastern match. We've been working on blocking, and then we had 12 total blocks against Eastern. And uh, and you know, Joe, it doesn't. They don't even have to block it if they can just get a hand on it and mm-hmm. slow it down, so our defense can dig it to target, and then we can run our offense in transition off of their attack. Mm-hmm. That's that's important. So things that don't go down the stat sheets, I think, how many times that that Chelsea or Mariah or or one of the front row players would actually contact the ball, mm-hmm. and us. St- be able to dig it, uh, and then dig it to dig it to target, as we say, so right. we can run we can run something. Or they have to tip it over, or not get so much heat on the mm-hmm. on the hit uh, down the sideline or the net, and right. letting um, our diggers dig the ball. Right. Well, we, we'd love to force them into tipping. Now, right. Tipping, you know, if if some players are really good at tipping and they disguise it very well, but if mm-hmm. we can force them into tipping, hopefully our defense will be able to dig that up, and then we can run our offense right off of that dig. It's a very learned skill mm-hmm. to have. Yeah, well, yeah. reading the game. Mm-hmm. They call that reading the game and reading the hitter. And, you know, that's why we keep shot charts and how many times that kid's tipped and where do they tip, mm-hmm. you know, and where are they hitting hard so we can align our defense and give us some tendencies to work on as to how we're going to defense each one of those hitters. Well, Coach, I appreciate your time as always, and good luck in the games you have this week. Well, thanks, Joe. He's Dave Trombo, and I'm Joe Wamba. This has been the Coach's Corner.